homework from here. Okay. Wanna, we, I'm going to start at the very bottom and work backwards because um, I'm not sure how far um, we get in class. So I'm going to do the last problem. Um, four friends are collecting canned goods for charity. Ron, collect four more than twice as many cans as Jasmine. So here's Ron equals four more than twice, twice is two times cans as jasmine, two times jasmine, twice is always two times, okay? And then four more than, then we flip, that's why we put the four in the back, okay? Barry collects half, collects half, half is one half times Ron. Alice collects ten more cans than Barry. Alice collects ten more cans than Barry. Alice is plus ten than Barry. Why ten is in the back is because it's than. We flip. How many cans can each person collect if Jasmine, Ron, okay, we don't have Jasmine, therefore Jasmine is X. Jasmine and Ron, J, Jasmine plus Ron, collects the same number of cans equal to Alice, Alice and Barry. A plus B. Okay. Let's go back and look. Um, Ron, Jasmine is X. So for Jasmine, I put X. Ron, I put 2X plus 4. Okay, kids are still having trouble with this. Equals to Ron. Um, plus Alice plus Barry. Okay, Barry. Ron is 2, okay, let's see, 2x plus 4. You distribute that. It's 1 half times 2 is 1x. 1 half times 4 cross cancel. You get 2 plus 2. Okay, so Barry is 2, it's x plus 2. Now Alice, Alice is x plus 2 plus 10, which is x plus 12. 2 plus 10 is 12. Alice is x plus 12. Okay, so you get that 3x plus 4 equals to 2x plus 14. Um, minus 2x, minus 2x. x belongs to Jasmine, remember. Um, x plus 4 equals to 14 minus 4 minus 4 Jasmine collected 10 cans for charity Jasmine collected 10 cans okay and let's see how many Ron collects so Jasmine collected 10 cans, so put 10 there. 2 times 10 plus 4 is 24. So Ron collected 24 cans. So x is 20. This x is 20 plus 2. So Barry 
collected 22. And um, Alice is the last person. Alice, this letter X here is 20. Uh, oh my gosh, it's 10. Wrong, wrong. 10 plus 2 is 12. So Barry collected 12 cans. And Alice collected 10 plus 12 is 22. Alice collected 22 cans. Add them all together, 10 plus 22, 34, 46. Um, well, it should work out. You can put back in 10, 10, and it should equal. Okay? That's how you do that. Okay? Name a type of transformation that occurred to the left. Looks like a rotation of 180 degrees. Counter or clockwise, it doesn't matter. Write the coordinates. They want the coordinate. Translate the parallelogram negative 2. Horizontally, positive 3 vertically. Draw and label the triangle A. B prime, oh, no, that's not B. C prime and D prime. Okay? So negative 2 means you go to the left horizontally. So 1, 2. Label that A. Even need. Oh, two to the left and oh, I hate this. Just messed up. Two to the left and three vertically. That was wrong. Two to the left and three vertically. A, and that is um negative one seven. B, the same thing. This is B, 2, 3. That is 1, 10. C is the same. 2, 3. Um, and the ordered pair for that. I put A prime right over here. It's 5, 10. Oh, this is a positive one. And here's 2, 3. Oops. Right there. Six, seven. D prime. Draw and label. It says draw and label right here. Write the coordinates of the vertices. These are vertices here. After a rotation of 270 clockwise around the origin, label it M N P O. Okay. So I'm gonna now label it M N P O P Q. So, 
M is we flip that one four to one four one A N we flip this N here from three seven to seven three P we flip this point from seven seven still seven seven Q we flip this point six four I mean six eight four to four eight okay one hundred and seventy degrees clockwise zero ninety one eighty one seventy I mean yeah two seventy Notice in this quadrant, all this are negative and all these are positive. So, all the negatives. Okay, and graph it in there. Negative 4, 1. Negative 7, 3. Um, negative seven seven negative four eight okay and that's um m n p and q there we go perfect Follow the rules and it's always right. Write the coordinates a reflection of pre-image y negative 1. Okay, here's y negative 1. Same thing, reflect it over. Most of you know how to do this. So, alright, number 13. Some of you may have trouble with this. You're writing proportion ratios, corresponding ratios, not proportions. Okay, that's where a lot of, oh no, I hate, my iPad is dying. Anyways, um, so if you're going to do small to big, 4, the side that corresponds to 4 is 12. Okay, so you write 4 over 12. This side corresponds to that. It's very important because you start out with the small has to equal to the small 2 over the large. So this is the side you're looking for right there. Let's give that x. x to the big side. Okay. Cross uh, multiply diagonally 4x. Multiply diagonally 24. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. x equals to 6. So this is 6. Notice if you put this, this is 1 over 3. And if this is 6, it's also reduced to 1 over 3. They equal to each other. A third equals to a third, okay? So the length, you would write the length, this, the length of M to P is 6. This length right here, N to P, sorry. Same here. We'll start with the unknown. Give that X. And the corresponding sides is 36. So over 36 equals this side that's 8 over the 24 the small over the big 24 equals to 8 times 36 24x I mean 8 times 36 
288 divided by 24. Actually, I like to write this. Oh, my iPad's not working. So it stopped working altogether. Come on. I can't erase. I can't change color. I can't move it. I'll stop and re-record. I'll finish this.